See, if you've been following my reviews for a while, I've been telling you about this uh, seemingly endless stream of Irish horror tales that have been coming out, and I, I've told you that a problem with them is the pacing. Apparently, Irish folk like their horror stories to drag and go very, very slow. Well, you know, that's also a common trait for English period pieces. So if you have a combination of a British and Irish production and it's a period piece, let me tell you, you're in for a slow ride there, brother. <laughs> Cinematic class is about to begin and uh, the professor is in. This movie is called The Little Stranger. And I got to tell you, folks, that this is another one of those films that uh, but don't believe what you're seeing on the trailers. You know, this is why I hate trailers. Because this movie uh, comes out on the trailer like, ooh, it's kind of spooky and crazy. No, no, it's not. There's no boo scenes. There's no cat in the window scenes. It's not from Eli Roth or, or Blue Mouse or even Hammer Films over in the UK. No, nothing like that at all. This story is a period piece and it just plods along for nearly two hours. It feels like a week. Okay, but a, two hours long. Now, it has a story, but there's nothing like gross or supernatural, like ugly things and nothing like that at all. So don't believe the trailers because they're playing it that way. What this movie really is, is a gothic psychological thriller. Yeah, anything that you can picture that that could be, oh, that, that could be spooky that could be a ghost it's it's all in your mind it's all playing a psychological trick on you and that's pretty good script writing actually and if this thing had been better paced i think it would have a bigger american audience as such it's really slow but i gotta tell you i like this film for two reasons primarily because you know <laughs> if you take a look at the cinematography in this it is it is really nice now the, the guy that does the cinematography does this trick where he he does extreme close-ups of the characters and then as they're saying something that tries to set a mood he cuts back to a, a set shot and the set shot sets the mood that the character is talking it's a really nice ploy one I haven't seen done in quite some time, and it works very, very effectively in here. So if you find yourself where nothing's really happening in this movie, but yet you're watching it, it's probably because of that cinematography. And the other good thing is there's really good performances in here by the three main stars, and, and they're kind of riveting. So I think you'll find that that's, it, that's the thing that, that holds you there. And I will tell you one thing. If you're lucky enough to make it to the end, this movie does have a twist at the end, that I didn't see it coming, I got to admit. I went, oh, man, you know, that type of thing. Now, thinking back on it, yeah, they used foreshadowing. Nah, I wasn't paying attention, maybe because the movie moved too slow. But it's really a good little twist at the end, and that really salvaged a lot of the movie for me. It's called The Little Stranger. It's slow. Be prepared for that, Okay. But if you look at the cinematography, the acting, and wait for that twist at the end, I think you have a good time. Now that you have learned what you have learned, your end of the lesson.